What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another episode of Random Generated Hybrids. This is going to be episode 8 and of course guys, if you're looking to buy or sell any FIFA 13 Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description for the FIFA shop. Fantastic little website for you to buy or sell some coins. So now let's get straight into the episode and sorry about this being uh, live on a Monday. I was meant to get this on a Sunday or a Saturday because this is a weekend series but I was watching tennis yesterday and on Saturday I already had a video planned so I do apologise for it being out on Monday uh, but let's go straight into the numbers. Of course the first number between 1 and 16 was 9 so now we're going to generate 3 more numbers the first number will be 43 so now we need to generate two more numbers and then we are ready to go and make this hybrid so the next uh, number that we generate is the number one which is quite rare to get one and 50 we do actually get the number one so final number is 30 so now let's go and attempt to make some awesome hybrid all right guys it's time to put these numbers into action so we're going to go straight into the formation of course we between 1 and 16 our number was 9 so we're going to choose um we're going to go 9 long in the formation and that will be our formation for today so let's go straight into it they're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so 4 3 2 1 formation is number 9 i'm quite looking forward to using this formation it is my favorite formation on fifa 13 i just really like how it plays you know the right forward and the left forward seem to get so much more action than the right wings and the left wings on 4-3-3 so um, of course it is very similar to 4-3-3 but I just really do prefer 4-3-2-1 over 4-3-3 so we're just going to go straight into it and of course 43 players along will be our first one so remember it is 11 per page so that is going to be 11 uh, that will be 22, 33, and it's going to be the second to last player, and it looks to be um, this guy, because obviously if there's 11 per page, 11 times 4 is 44, and minus 1 is this guy, it's going to be this guy, so he's called Erpen. He does actually look a decent centre-back, so I'm going to put a 250 coin bid on him, and uh, yeah, let's go straight and uh, go straight into another one and try and pick up a another bid. Okay then guys, our second number was number 1, between 1 and 50 we did actually get the number 1 which is quite rare, um, but we're going to go straight into it and you know, one the first player that pops up will be our second player for this hybrid, so let's go straight into it. Who's going to pop up uh, as, as the first player? It is going to be Maggio from um, from Serie A, from Napoli. So yeah, we've got Maggio and we have Erpen, I think, the, the Argentinian centre back. So now um, I'm going to get a really cheaper one than this because he's obviously not 8,000 coins. You can probably get him for about 1,500 or something like that. So so, yeah, Maggio, Erpen, and now we need one more player, so let's go and try and get our final player. Alrighty then, guys, so on to the final number. Our final number was 30. Between 1 and 50, we did generate the, uh, the number 30, so that is going to be a third page, I think. So let's go straight into it anyway. Um, 30 players along will be our final uh, person for this hybrid, so that's going to be 11. Uh, that will be 22, and now 8 along will be our player. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've got an inform Norwegian right back. I'm not sure how much he goes for. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this guy. So we've got Linz, um, and Ernan, or I can't remember his name, Erfen or something like that. And then, of course, uh, who was the other player that we got? It was a gold, I think, but I can't remember. Uh, yeah, Maggio. So we've got Maggio, Linz, and Erfen. So yeah, we've got two silvers and one gold. So that's not too bad. Let's go make a hybrid. Alrighty then, guys. Now we are ready to start and make this hybrid. Of course, the three players that we got um, from the random generated uh, part of the, this video are in the, you know, they're actually in the squad now. So let's go straight into it. It's a 4-3-2-1, of course you know that was the formation that was picked at random these are the three players that have been picked at random and now let's go and make a hybrid around them so the goalkeeper I decided to go with a silver goalkeeper and that is pretty much just to get nine chemistry um with the Argentinian center back which was Erpen or Erfen I genuinely can't remember um, what his name is but yeah this is the goalkeeper that goes into the team uh, this guy called Pinto Serric free diving 69 handling 67 kicking 74 reflex 71 positioning some nice stats on him uh, six foot tall just a decent goalkeeper for 1200 coins um, not too much to say about him the silver centre back to go into the next uh, you know to go right next to the open or whatever or to link up with Linz is going to be Hovland 76 pace 77 defending and 69 heading um, cost quite a bit which I'm quite surprised at you know normally uh, Norwegian uh, centre backs don't really cost this much but 5.6k for him I'm assuming that's because he's quite heavily used in silver Tipalagan teams or Tipalagan hybrids or something like that but he was very very good I, I have to give it him and uh, he did actually score a goal for his troubles a uh, 6 foot 3 tall just a fantastic centre back so now we're going to review this guy that we actually did get and it's Erpen not Erfen so right we've got to remember that so Falcando Erpen 73 pace 70 defending and 70 heading you know he's got some decent stats 6 foot tall 200 
150 coins. I picked him up for insanely cheap, and uh, you know, nothing too much bad to say about him. He was just an okay defender. He wasn't too good, he wasn't too bad, he was just okay. So now let's just quickly review the right back that we got, and it is this guy. We did actually get an inform that he toggled onto, and he cost 60,000 coins in the end. You know, there was a massive bid up from there. I think when I, you know, when I got onto him, he was like 45k, and uh, there was loads of bidding people, and uh, I got him for 60k, so I'm quite happy with that. I could probably make a little bit of a profit off of him, to be honest, but... 5 foot 9 tall, 4 star we foot, 2 star skill moves, 84 pace, 70 defending, 60 heading, 73 dribbling, uh, 62 pace, uh, sorry, 62 shot and 65 passing. Um, so yeah, just pretty decent stats there, but I just don't think he's worth 60k at all. So the next left back to go into the team, or the first left back, sorry, um, is going to be a gold. So we're going to go straight into the gold category now, and uh, it's going to be Ansaldi, and he is just a pace demon. 87 pace, uh, 72 passing, 72 dribbling, 77 defending, and 68 heading. Plays for the uh, the Russian League, I think. Who, what team is that? It's Ruben Kazan. Um, 1,300 coins for him. Great player. 4 stars, uh, four star weak foot, four, 3 stars, skill moves, 5 foot 11 tall. Um, just constantly helping out the centre back. So let's go into the centre mids. Uh, the, I'm going to go f uh, silver centre mid first and it is going to be a Norwegian to wrap up this little Norwegian right back and centre back side. And it is this guy called Drej and he is so sick for his coins. Uh, 84 pace, 65 shooting, 71 passing, 79 dribbling and you want to know the best part about this guy? 4 star skill moves. 4 star skill moves, centre mid, 1300 coins, 3 star, uh, three star weak foot, 5 foot 9 tall, just a great great player and I do recommend him um, massively, I would love to, you know, when I do the tip of lagging team, um, I'm probably going to do a silver tip of lagging team for around the world with 34 leagues and this guy will definitely be in that team, don't you worry about that. So let's go straight into the next team, uh, the next player, sorry, uh, so, so we're going to go into the gold centre mids now and uh, first one is going to pop up, it's going to be Nocarino or Nocarino, um, 78 pace, 79 shooting, 81 passing, 81 dribbling, 81 defending, and 73 heading. A lot of 81s around there. Pretty much very, very um, solid stats for a centre mid. 5 foot 9 tall, 3 star foot, 2 star skill moves, 1500 coins for him. He is just an absolute solid centre mid. Uh, the next gold centre mid to go into the team is going to be Zanetti. I was going to say Zanetti then. Uh, Zanetti, 75 pace, 82 passing, 83 dribbling, 81 defending. Very similar to Nocherino. You know, got some very nice standout stats. A lot of 80s in there. Um, very, very similar to Nocherino. Um, great stats on him. 5 foot 10 all four star we two star skill moves even scored two goals for his troubles as well so that's not too bad at all cost 3.5k because he's normally a cdm of course so yeah you know that uh, we're just going to say that uh, left forward to go into the team is going to be a five star skiller and it is going to be robinho 88 pace 35 shooting 77 passing 91 dribbling awesome awesome stats on him um you know i really do enjoy using robinho i don't think he's as good as he was on fifa 12 because he's just really weak on this game and you do need a little bit of strength on your players um for skill runs in my opinion five foot eight tall four star for five star skill moves, uh, 3,200 coins for him. Only scored a goal, which is kind of um, quite bad to be honest for a left forward. I normally get about three or four um, with each team, but. He only managed to score one, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, we'll give a quick re review of Christian Maggio, who we've pulled on our third or second. Uh, yeah, we pulled him on the second go in the random generated uh, thing. So 85 pace, 73 shooting, 81 passing, 76 dribbling, 77 defending, and 82 heading. Some really nice stats, to be honest. You know, he's got the defending and heading as well, um, as well as a good winger. So six foot tall, two star weak foot, three star skill moves, 5,600 coins. I thought I'd be able to get him for much cheaper, but I wasn't able to. Scored two goals in five games. He's an okay right forward. Got you know his finishing with his left foot is absolutely diabolical. That that is definitely what I noticed. Um, and now the striker to complete this team. I asked you guys so much on Twitter. You know I, I just couldn't make my mind up, and I did decide to go for man of the match Hernandez. Uh, you know we've got a hat trick or four goals um, for Uruguay in the uh, Confederation Cup. So he played really well there, and probably kind of you know probably may even make a, uh, make a signing to somewhere else just because he's had such an impact in that Confederation Cup. A lot of people will probably be looking at him. Ninety pace, seventy. 6 shooting, uh, 60 passing, 76 dribbling, and 72 heading. Some awesome stats on him. 6 foot 1 tall, 3 star we foot, 3 star skill with 7 goals in 5 games and costing 81,000 coins. Now you can get loads of people at striker. You can get, you know, you can get team of the seasons, you can get Cavani, you can get Di Natale, but I just went for Abel Hernandez. You know, I asked on Twitter and, and most people said Abel Hernandez, try him out, he's good. And uh, I tried him out and 7 goals in 5 games isn't too bad at all, is it? So, you know, this has been the team guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, leave a like ring. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter at Dreskabur94. Enjoy the goals, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. See you later.
give them hell.